Fell in love at the age of 17. I loved her and she loved me. I thought that love would last. Hey guys, welcome to Mentor District um, episode. I have no idea what episode we're on. Let's um, say nine. Let's say for something. Yeah, I think. something like that. Nine-ish. <laughs> um, I am Molis. I'm Yadira. And Rafa. And today our special uh, guest is uh, Daniel from El Chilito. All right. So um, before we start, I wanted to read something that uh, I found very interesting. And you guys will say, um, let me see. Well, actually, we're here at Celito Cafe. Uh, what's the address, Daniel? Uh, 8015 Long Beach Boulevard, um, Southgate, California. So that's 8015. All right. So we're at a coffee shop. I'm going to read the first sentence. It says, Cof- I don't know if, if this even makes sense. It says coffee plant, but I thought, is it a coffee plant or is it a coffee bean? Uh, well, they, they come from plants, so the yeah. plant becomes so a tree and then... Oh, okay. Yeah. Because... Okay, so this says coffee plants are now cultivated in over 70 countries and has become the leading commodity in legal agricultural export for numerous countries. Really? Legal is important. Legal. Yeah, legal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Um, Illegal in Colombia, Mexico. Yeah, yeah then, then I, then I they think take they, the cake. Yeah, yeah, I think they got it covered. <laughs> All right, so we're here at Cielitos today. Uh, Daniel's actually um, the owner. Yeah. And, um, you know. We all know Rafa's a big coffee lover. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, Yadira needs caffeine. <laughs> no, actually, yeah. We, we were trying to avoid caffeine for her. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to grow. And, <laughs> <laughs> and me, I'm not really um, a caffeine, but, you know, they, they we also always substitute it for something else. Yeah, right. But That's if you don't like if you don't like coffee, you also got hot chocolate. Like, I'm drinking uh, my oh, chocolate. Right? He's got all this stuff. Right? Yeah. You got that one. You told me to get it with yeah, like caffeine. So I was like, what? Is yeah, that so did I hear right? If you're a Cielito, personally, this is my favorite. It's a horchata frap with no caffeine because I can't do caffeine. So I actually. Why can't you drink caffeine anyways? I, you know what? Um, if I drink like a regular. Um, uh, regular size coffee, like a medium size. Te yeah. da chorro. Me, una com- <laughs> <laughs> me da una comezón en mi cuerpo. Like, no comezón otro. Then we we really take the caffeine away from. Yeah, it's like I can't do it. It's like I have to always like wash it down with water. Uh-huh. No, no, really? I don't know. It's an effect of moon. I can't. I don't like to do it. Daniel, uh-huh. tell us. Um, first of all, you opened up the coffee shop when you were first how? Um. 20. Yeah, 20. 20 years old. Yeah. I mean, at 20 years old, yo te bicicletas. Yo chicles. Yeah, like, Dude, you know, I'm, like. I'm 21, and I mean, I, that's the thing I want to ask you. I always have, like, yeah. ideas, too, but what made you find, like, Executed. I have an idea. Uh huh. Like, oh, right. I want to do this. I mean, you should open up this. What made you finally say, because you're how old? You're 20? I'm 24. 24? 24. Yeah. So, what finally made you say, I'm going to, I'm going to do it? Well, um,. I, well, my, my family's kind of interesting. I, um, my dad's side, they're all entrepreneurial. Um, and then my mom's side, they're all scholastic. Okay. Um, so when, when I went to college, um, like my first year of college, um, my mom was super excited. My dad was like, okay, I have a son going to college. But then I was like, I, it's, it's not for me. Like, it's not, uh-huh. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't like it. Um, and I, has, I was doing a lot of activities at the time. I was, I was boxing with my dad. Um, I was working at, at a coffee shop and then I was working at my dad's mechanic shop. So I was had money saved up. Um, I wasn't buying school books, so my FAFSA <laughs> money was kind of in my, in my pocket. Uh, <laughs> and so I, I had this money saved up and I had like this, this you know, like these ganas. Like I was like, I need to do something. Like I want to I wanna create something. I just don't want to go to school. Mm-hmm. That, was, that was another excuse. But um, I actually, I had a fight in Azteca Boxing Club and I was in this area and I saw a lot of like empty lots, a lot of empty spaces. And I was like, you know, what? like I, I, I need to do something. Uh-huh. And the only thing that was missing was the what, like what, right. what do I need to do? And um, I'm, I'm from Echo Park, born and raised. And that area changed because of coffee shops, like coffee yeah. shops, opened right. up Blue Bottle and all these fancy places. Right. And I noticed that those coffee shops not only changed the neighborhood, but they, they became like this like gathering place. Like these people would chill on Community. their laptops. Yeah. yeah. And um, I asked around around here. Um, I, I stayed around here. I looked and I, and, I, and I saw that no one had those like gathering houses. And I really like coffee. What I thought I knew coffee because I drank Starbucks all the time. <laughs> and um, 
I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna start a coffee business. And then that kind of started the venture of like, you know what, I need to start. And it was all basically just like, I, I need to do this. I, I, I have entrepreneurial blood. I, right, I need to start something. Right. Yeah, so it was, it was crazy. So how, uh, you, you do your own coffee? Is there like you, your own coffee beans, your own, or, yeah. or is it somebody else's coffee? Uh, so I I I um I'm Mexican, so I'm very prideful. So I, right. I do my own coffee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So um, after I started, um, I was uh not very into the coffee game yet. I still uh -huh. it wasn't like aware. I I knew things here and there. Um, I met a a mentor who was selling me coffee beans, okay. and he taught me about coffee. Um, he taught me about like the different processes and things and how how they start. And so um. He had his business and his coffee roastery, and then a year and a half into my business, he was like, "Hey, like I, I want to sell you the roastery. Like I have a family. I, I, I can't, I can't oh, do all this okay. stuff." Because he was also like an oncologist. Like homeboy was, he was everywhere. <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah, man, I'll, I'll take it." So, um, we did a payment plan, and and I bought his roastery. And um, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, <laughs> but, I, but I bought it. Right? I was like, yeah. it's going to save me money. And, and, okay. and I, I love the science and love everything. So I got a coffee roastery and um, me and my friends, we got a we got a U-Haul. Um, there was like two of my friends in the front. The rest, we were in the back of the U-Haul, oh. like inside. <laughs> um, we go, we show up, we get the roastery, we take it and we um, we take it to my house and we like leave it in my backyard uh -huh. and from there i just started learning how to how to roast coffee beans and your backyard yeah right from my backyard and and it was a lot of smoke and my mom a was super concerned she's like what are you guys doing back there <laughs> you just start smoking like crazy oh, but man. yeah so then ever since then i was learning practicing and then just recently um i started direct connections with with coffee farmers so okay. um yeah. right now i have direct connections to nicaragua um, direct connections to El Salvador, direct connections to Guatemala, and I just established the Mexico. So it's like nice. not only is it is it our coffee beans, it's like it's super oh. super genuine. Like hey, I, I have another business. Do you you want to incorporate yourself into <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> so like what I got from 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 my story is, si vienes a robar quitando madrear el dueño. <laughs> Two is at a young age he felt that he had to do something and he did it. But um, let me ask you, yeah, why coffee? Uh, do do you have like, I mean, do you have a special bond to coffee, or I mean, why can't it be like a donut shop or you know, a raspado place? Bionicos, bionicos, yeah. Bionicos, um, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just add all, all kinds of stuff. Um, well, it w there was a lot jumping around. There was obviously yeah. the mechanic shop. Like, my dad had a mechanic shop, and my uncles all had mechanic shops. So it was obviously jumping into that. Um, mm -hmm. There was other options as well, like uh, online businesses and things of that sort. But like I said, like, coffee had – it had it changed my neighborhood. Yeah. And um, then I started looking into it, and there's so much biology. There's so much science into it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what, like – like I like it. Like I, right. I'm a huge science nerd, and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. And um, it's something we can all relate to as Latinos as well. Like right. um, I think 80% of the world's coffee is provided by Latin America. Right. So you look at this, and it's like, okay, like I'm, I already have that right. direct connection. I mean, do you have what Nicaragua, Colombia is known, Colombia. Peru, I believe they're known for their their coffee bean. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, Brazil too. No? So yeah, Brazil, Brazil produces thirty percent of the world. So yeah, the right. world's largest like single uh -huh. wow. country that that produces. And you know what? Yeah. It's funny that you mentioned. You said um, you wanted to build a, a gathering place for the community. Um, you know, believe it or not, I don't know me with me. You know, Chuy, Chuy. <laughs> he's actually a friend of mine, you know. Oh, okay. And it's funny because it is. It's like the neighborhood is he's just. He's like I ain't his friend. Yeah, he's like I don't look close. Put his hat down too. He's like. Oh. <laughs> No, no, que te crees, es que le voy dinero, está esperando que acabe yeah, para yeah. cobrarme. Ya se iba a ir, pero oh, yeah. esta molly me oh, esta molly me debe, let me, let me get those $20. Uh, yeah. No, but it is, I mean, um, I come here random times, um, you know, from our chata, non-decaf, yeah. non y, y vengo y it's always friends, it's always community, yeah. and um, it feels like, como te puedo decir, it's not, it doesn't feel like you're coming to a coffee shop, dude, you know, mm -hmm. you know cuando vas a la casa de tu tía, you know, mm. con esa confianza, something like that. Yeah, sí. But like, you still can't go and open the fridge. Yeah. Pero con esa confianza. <laughs> yeah. um, what does um, Chilito has to offer 
like what do you guys sell because it's not just coffee right yeah well um we're gonna try and incorporate other things like right now we have merchandise as well okay. um we have the whole beans like we sell the whole beans um and then yeah mostly that we're gonna try and incorporate food <coughs> maybe later down the line you guys have but, teas uh yeah we have teas um i'm trying to get connections to like brazil to to import teas um but, brazil I, I uh, be <laughs> <laughs> yeah but um because brazil they they provide a lot they have a, a lot of like lush agriculture yeah. and they they okay. also they provide a lot of matcha and and things of that matcha. sort so i love matcha yeah I matcha gets people caffeinated yeah, bro yeah. I, I had a, <laughs> I love matcha. I had a, a <laughs> matcha wayawa drink that i had for for the summer we might bring that back oh, but nice. um i would sell it to people and they they would order it and i i think they didn't know that matcha had oh, had caffeine. caffeine so there's people like yeah let me get a matcha wayawa and they'll drink it and they'll come back later and they're like does it have caffeine like did you put a shot and this lady one told me she was like i had heart palpitations oh, i was like oh yeah. i was like all right man we're gonna put a warning label right? next time like, yeah because right <laughs> yeah, tea has caffeine like dude, tea imagine, is hard ima imagine me drinking that dude i'll probably be out like running the street with no shoes on no socks <laughs> right He's gonna um, be outside his house looking for his phone right, <laughs> right? imagine that happens <laughs> so the name that's an interesting where, where does the name come from so um me and my, my dad actually kind of brainstormed a, a a name um we had uh different names that were coming up but silito stuck because there was um there was a lot going on in the family um there was also like a like a recent death had happened so you know like heaven was kind mm. of like in the in the theme oh, okay. um and then i was trying to see like what names could we could play with and then silito was always in there there was like um silito lindo after the song and mm -hmm. I didn't want to be kind of, I wanted to have my own identity. identity. I didn't want to be like incorporated like with the song. Um, and then um, the thing that stuck, like the final thing that stuck with El Silito that kept it was that like, we wanted to offer coffee that was that was under like the heavens, right? All coffee under it. And it was the Latino heaven, so it was like mm -hmm. Silito. So then I kind of like, like solidified it. And I was like, all right, El Silito nice. Cafe is kind of like, yeah. Because so even, even if it's just the name, I feel like it's, the name matters because it's very inviting. Yeah, I definitely. Don't know if it yeah. me, it's very like inviting. Yep. So Daniel, now that we have you uh, with the camera on, and you know it will be held against you in the court. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking about um, Nopal Azul edition flavor or coffee or something, dude. When can we make this happen? We're in uh, February. Can we at least see it at least by the summer, dude? Maybe I mean maybe I, I, yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe maybe I'm, I'm a what is it what is it called I'm a uh, publicist trained so I'm like All right, I gotta know what <laughs> what I can answer uh, but, uh, <laughs> let's brainstorm yeah what I mean a coffee first of all you know that you know me representing Nopal Azul, I don't do ca uh, caffeine. Yeah. So it couldn't contain contain any caffeine. Uh, it's already tough. And it's because <laughs> and, and it's because <laughs> it's it, being real. and because yeah. of the, and because of the color <laughs> Nopal Azul, you would have yeah. to use something blue, something in blueberries. No, you go spinach. You know, he's gonna be spinach. throwing spinach in your <laughs> coffee. <though. laughs> what, what do you guys think? That's hard. What would you want? I mean, you're, you're, you're the coffee lover. I'll you're caffeine. caffeine. Yeah. Just uh, <laughs> caffeine. I think you lost them, man. No yeah. caffeine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You kind of lost I'll me, too. Right there, right? <laughs> like, my creativity shut down right there. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. said no caffeine. <laughs> so, um, know, make sure you guys come daily and, and visit. Whenever you guys come, just make sure you guys bug them. Yo, man, what's that? <laughs> no parasol flavored coffee. Right, that's for it. Right. With just caffeine, no please. Petition. Yeah. That's for, it. that's for it with caffeine. Oh, no pal frappe. Uh, no pal yeah. Oh, no pal frappuccino. Oh, oh that's nasty, but we could just <laughs> yeah. Like he, he can say, "Hey, you know what? <laughs> what? <laughs> they they no bug me. Yeah, they kept bugging. bugging. He can be like, bugging. "Look, check my DMs. Come on, all these kept bugging. He's gonna have the DMs right yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just like yeah, just lift it. Like thank these guys and then just like look, have all your ads I, on I there. I blocked him and he created a pal azul fan page just to bug me. A silito fan page too. Like what he's at it. So um. Let's talk about you and um, entrepreneurship side. Yeah. Do you see yourself franchising or do you see yourself creating other businesses? So that's a, that's always the tough one. It um, it it's kind of weird because it's like it's like I'm I'm young by by age right by number, but I I feel so much older. So I always feel like time is running out. You know, I'm just like shit. Like I need to start yeah. doing this. And um, yeah, like but. 
it's like I want another one, and then I don't want to kind of step on, like trip on my own toes. But I, I do want one fast. And I, I've had offers. I think, um, like on, on through the Silito page, we get emails, like questions, concerns. And I've gotten someone from Texas that wants to open up a Silito. Someone from Northern California that wants to open up a Silito. Um, someone from Oregon. And it's it's kind of crazy to know that like those offers are there, but um I for sure want to take one back at least one back home to Echo Park. Nice. So that's that's kind of that's kind of it. But yeah, I, I for sure want to like expand and 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 like open everything up. But it takes a lot of strategic movement in the sense where it's like okay. Um, I need to open up, but how is it going to affect my quality if I open right. up? Or, like, yeah. how is that going to affect my, you know, the budget and, and things of that sort? And it's things where it makes me think, like, all right, maybe I should have stayed in school. But <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's it, it, it's a long the, uh, thinking process. got to build sure. a team, right? Yeah. There's someone who knows about it. I mean, what, things what, and that stuff, right? yeah. Well, that one thing it. I'll tell you is that when you're not here, um, your staff is really good, man. They have really good customer service. I think that's one of the things they're well known. Todos los empleados, they greet you, buena gente. It's a good vibe when you come in. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, so uh, and um, how about your parents? Your parents, because you were young when you started this. Do they support yeah. you? Yeah, well, both of them. Because you said one side was very scholar. Yeah, and, my so mom's side. Your mom's yeah, side my like, mom was <laughs> kind of upset, and she um, it's. So mom is paying for coffee cuando viene en pocas palabras. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's it's funny though because because so my mom was like she won't let that school thing go. Like I'm still here and, to this and, day. And yeah, to this, to this day, day. And 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 she she'll be here when it's like a full house. Like it's uh -huh. it's packed. And I kind of I'd, I'd like her to see that you know because it's like it's like it's right. a pride moment. But she'll tell me like obviously everyone's chilling. They're they're sitting here. All tables are packed, and I'm here like cleaning. And she'll come. She's like she was like, have you been busy? And I'm like, no. These people have been here for some while, and, and then I'm just cleaning. And she goes, you know, you could be doing your homework at this time. You were in school, oh, right? And I was like, ah, oh, you know. <laughs> and then yeah, yeah, it's just always she's always keeping that. Right, you have like. Tens of little lindos, and she'll still tell you that. Right? Yeah, she'll be like, you know, you could have had twelve if you went to school. Yeah, right? exactly. Like, if you went to school, you know, it would have been double at right? least, you know. And um, yeah, she won't let she won't let that go. And then my dad too. Like, if my dad is if he's by himself, he comes by himself. He's just like, oh, you know, you did good. Like, it's good, whatever. Uh -huh. But when my mom's here, he's like, yeah, she she should have stayed in school. Don't. And I'm like, oh, man. okay. <laughs> hey, I was talking to uh, a friend of mine. Uh, I won't mention names. Uh, entrepreneur guy, very entrepreneur guy. Okay. And we're talking, and me dijo también, uh, my daughter wants to go to designer school or something. Okay. Um, more like a trade, you know, trade school. I'm like, oh, really? He's like, yeah. I'm like, well, that's good. And he's like, yeah, but I told her, as soon as you go, you're going to build a debt for 60000 yeah. And he's okay. and I was like, so what happened? I mean, you got the money. You could afford it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you could afford to pay, you know, the four years or two years, whatever it is, up front. Yeah. And he said, no, I told her, like, don't be dumb. Don't go to college. He's like, so I made her a company, and she's paying herself over a hundred uh, thousand. So bad. I mean, that's not the way to see school, bad, too, you know? Yeah, but um, I mean, when it, when it comes to school, and it's it's very tricky because I kind of um, I kind of uh, I tell people, and and a lot of people know the regulars. Like I I say a lot, you know, stay in school, kind of jokingly at first, but you know. Um, and and there's times where I feel like um, school is not necessary. Like obviously, I would I would like you know like my doctor to right. <laughs> finish medical school. Right. right. Your, <laughs> lawyer, your lawyer. Yeah, my lawyer. <laughs> your lawyer's, your lawyer's like, yeah, school. I think I can try this, but. Right, you can go see some YouTube videos. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe your accountant, right? Things of that sort. Yeah, yeah. And, and and um, but there's a lot of things, especially in 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 the business sense, where school is not is not necessary. necessary. Like you right. can you can learn some things. Um, the the reason I didn't like school was uh mostly because in in um. In business classes, they throw this blanket over you, and they'll and they'll use these terms as kind of like, okay, if this gets asked of you, or or if you're like, if the company you work for is like, you know, facing troubles, like what do you, mm -hmm. and it like it kind of mm -hmm. bothered me. I was like, I don't want like, you know, like you, you keep saying the company you work for or right. your boss. And they never say <laughs> if you're yeah right. if you're facing this, and I'm like, well, it's like, all right, uh -huh. it's, it's kind of it's not cool already. Yeah. But um. There's a lot that you that you learn. Um, there's a lot that that's necessary, like the process of crashing and burning. Because mm -hmm. I've had a lot of like like you know bad experiences and, and experiences that maybe who knows I could have avoided if, mm -hmm. if I was in school. But there's a lot that that 
you know, just like a lot of like hard work, a lot of ganas and a lot of just like learning from people, willingness to, to take risk will, will take you a long way. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've always said it, uh, field experience will overpower any textbook. Yeah, oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So, so, dropout is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Not the doctor's thing. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah doctor's lawyer, you guys, you guys stay in there. Stay in. You know, you guys come to Cielito. You know, you guys can uh, bring your family, your kids. Mm-hmm. Una cosa también que, que le recomiendo yo son los postres. He's, he's keeping it away. Yeah. I guess it's one of those. Key, uh, key, a no. secret menu type of thing. Okay. Yeah. Off the menu, he, off the menu. Yeah, dude. They're really good. Um, Tiene uno... Is a, a cheesecake mazapan? I want to say. Is oh yeah, so we, so we um. Yeah, see, he's he's holding he's holding <laughs> back. He's holding back. Yeah, well, right now the the cheesecakes are on hiatus because I'm working with the baker right now. We're working on new recipes. Oh okay. But it was it was super crazy. So um, I was I I um. Like my personality, I get I get bored really 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 <laughs> fast, which is why we have a lot of drinks. Cause I'm like, all right, I'm bored. We gotta work yeah, on something new. And um, so I was bored, and I was like, you know, I'm tired of, of conchas. And then conchas kept getting too mainstream, and I was like, uh, like I don't I, w- I don't want something that's mainstream. I, I want to kind of like you know be a forefront. And I thought cheesecakes. Cause my my dad loves cheesecake. Oh. My dad he's my guinea pig when it comes oh, to stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so my dad loves cheesecake. So I was like, okay, like I, I need to see. Um, what I can do with cheesecakes is obviously like cheesecake, plain cheesecakes are already boring. So I I worked on um, masapan cheesecake and that one sold like really, really, really fast. Like we had them for the weekend. Um, well, I would offer them for the weekend. So Friday through Sunday, I would get them from, I would get about 42 cheesecakes on Friday. And by Saturday afternoon, they'd be gone, like all gone. Yeah. And yeah, then I was good. like, yeah. And I was like, okay, like this works. So let's work on another one. Um, our dulce de leche drink is kind of what got us on the map. So we made a dulce de leche cheesecake, and um, we had an abuelita chocolate cheesecake, and they just kept they just kept selling, bro. Go, like man. it was it was crazy. So you're gonna venture out to ge- making cheesecakes too, man? Huh? Yeah, 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 well, I want to venture out to like everything, man. Right? <laughs> <Like, laughs> yeah, right? Cielito bakery. Yeah, Cielito well, bakery. Well, that's oh. And then on the other side, cielitos, uh, bionicos y raspados. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the nopal azul drink is gonna come. Yeah. Out, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, you got a bakery. Yeah. We're talking Brazil, Colombia, then Texas. Tell us the truth. Yeah. in esas bolsas de café. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Secret imports. Uh-huh. But um, but yeah, it's, it's been it's been pretty crazy. And um, a lot of like like the the message that we kind of conveyed from the from the get go is the culture in every cup and it, and it definitely hit like people a lot of people relate to it and, and a lot of people they kind of like it and they'll, they'll just come just for the drink because they relate to the drink and I tell I tell a lot of people as well like um, you you if you put a name up of a country you can tell people are from that country because they'll just right. be like I want that like that they don't one, even know what I'm offering right. it just says Nicaragua and they're like I want that like, I could be like oh you know it's it's a weird kind of cheesecake and they're like I don't care I want it yeah. smart, and um, smart, yeah. the most uh, prideful people that I that I've seen were Salvadorans like we have El Salvador like when when we, when I finalized the deal it said like El Salvador offering El Salvador coffee that we have up there. And um, they'll just look at it and they're like, I want that. And I'm like, you know, you want to see yeah. the menu, bro? Like, they're like, no, I want that. And then it's crazy. They'll taste it. And they're like, yeah, I, I knew it's a sour coffee was good. And I'm like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, buddy. Um, but, yeah, it's super cool seeing that, like, the relation to, uh-huh. to, to that. To and the country. To the country, yeah. yeah. And and people will, because we, we have the those coffees, like, made by hand. Like, it takes about three minutes to make them. And they'll stand there and they'll tell you, like, we're, we're making it. And they're like, you know, I grew up in a farm in El Salvador. And they'll tell you the whole life story. And it's, like, it's super crazy, you know? Nice. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. And, it's, and, and I mean, you make yeah. them feel at home. So, I yeah. guess that's why they're, yeah, like. Yeah, so it's super crazy. And they, like, they want to come back. Like, you get to know them personally. You know, they, they come and come. Yeah, definitely. Back, you know, back, huh? we, don't, we don't misspell names here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you should see. I've gone to other um, brand uh, chains of um, coffee, which I don't go to anymore. Uh, what's your name, Molly's? Dude, I will come out with all, like eight letters. Like, Dude, <laughs> it's only a five-letter word, you know. So that's good. Like you, know what I, yeah. you know what I'm wondering and what I'm thinking about? Okay, does is it possible for a coffee place to deliver? Cause I be want I be at home and I be wanting some Starbucks and I have oh. to get up, change, <laughs> put on my chunk glass. Well, we have so we have like Postmates, right? Like mm-hmm. there's a lot of like apps that work that way, um, and it is possible to to uh, to deliver. 
but when it comes to to us a lot of people like the coffee shop feel yeah so they're yeah. like they'll come okay. in the, and then we have people like chilling like in their chunk glass and like yeah. you know sweats and um they just come for like the coffee and they like, like that uh, that environment um but it, it's it'd be something like cool that and definitely postmates and everyone kind of banked on yeah. but it, it gets too expensive afterwards like with oh, those okay. delivery services yeah well the fees yeah the, the fee yeah you pay like I, we've seen it like people pay like ten dollars for like a mozzarella latte and we feel guilty making oh it because we're like God. oh you know <laughs> so I, yeah so it's it's, it's a, a good idea with just the numbers aren't yeah the numbers are crazy like yeah. i feel like mm. probably right i'm sorry on the cell. like <laughs> yeah <laughs> attach three dollars on the like, i'm sorry bro <laughs> Hey Daniel, let me ask you though, because como te digo, I, I'm, my knowledge of coffee is bare minimum. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> Very, <yeah. laughs> el otro fui y pedí este café de olla. What is café de olla? So it it really um it depends on the region and and what people like add into it. But like with us, we we'll make it. We we add brown sugar, our, our espresso, and then te de canela. We just top it off like that. Mm. Um, but then there's other places where they'll add like orange zest to it. And this is like in Mexico, Mexico, orange zest to it, um, piloncillo to sweeten it up. Others add like sugar cane pieces. So there's different kinds. But basically, the the essential part of a café de olla is coffee and um, canela. Okay. Because I saw it and it looked good. So I'm like, all right, you know, let me try it. And I tried it, you know, the azúcar. And I know how important sugar plays into a uh, cup of coffee. Yeah. So I grabbed the the other one. What was it? The Splenda, whatever? Uh-huh. Dude, that right. shit. They just, horrible. They just kept going down. Yeah, it was <laughs> horrible, dude. <laughs> it's like that non-real sugar, okay? Because uh-huh. it has like a diet flavor, dude. It was yeah. horrible. Oh, Tastes man. like Diet Coke. Yeah. yeah. So, so imagine yeah. a Diet Coffee. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So I'm out so, there. Well, it, it's, it's funny enough that that because coffee on, on itself, like if you get a Café de Olla or just black coffee, it, it's very... Very, um, <clears throat> it's very healthy. Like that, it's very. That's my. That was my next question. Yeah, because they say coffee is. Um, yeah, so it's healthy, it's a right? uh, it's yeah it's super healthy. It's it's full <laughs> of fiber, which is why you know sometimes when you drink coffee you gotta go. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's full of antioxidants. Um, there's been studies that that it helps like um, it helps either um like lower the risk of getting like Alzheimer's disease of uh, Parkinson's. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it helps strengthen like the heart. Things so it'll of that be coffee sort. without sugar, right? Yeah, so it's without sugar. Yeah. So if you if you get um, like coffee, for example, like a like a caramel oh, latte yeah, with like, like extra uh, pumps, the sugar kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the whipped cream. Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking <laughs> at me? The sugar kind of eliminate. Well, that one doesn't even have coffee, so that. <laughs> so the sugar kind of eliminates. <laughs> and then like kind of like caffeine, kind of it. Uh, it increases your metabolism. It makes you uh-huh. sweat. It makes you want to, like, you know, do stuff. But um, there's also studies recently because coffee is such, like, a huge commodity yeah. um, that a genetic, like, your genetics plays, like, a, a very strong and deep role that some people can, they'll take, like, I mean, we've seen it too. They'll drink, like, five espresso shots. They don't they don't feel it. But then wow. other people, like like me, for example, I'm, ironic enough, I'm sensitive to caffeine. Uh-huh. So, like, with me, you'll drink it, and um, it does these things where, like, it causes, like, hypertension and, and things of that sort. So, you, um, I think 23andMe just recently came out with, like, something where you can test your caffeine okay, genealogy. Really? Oh, yeah, nice. but, um, I mean, we've been surviving without it, bro. So, like, yeah. without that. So yeah. And what about, um... <laughs> You heard of bulletproof coffee, right? Yeah, like that trend going on. I drink it sometimes. Yeah. What, what do you think about that? Um. Well, my my uncle, my uncle is like a he's like a huge Whole Foods kind of guy, right. so he he likes that as well. Um. I tried it. I wasn't. I wasn't. The flavor is like, not. Yeah. The it, and you, you get like a buttery coating yeah. like in your mouth, but it it does. But what about health? Like health benefits. And what you I ha, I did it before like a workout like when when I was still when I was still boxing <laughs> and um you feel it like you don't you certainly feel you uh-huh. don't feel the caffeine crash as well which right. is which is certainly that, cool. that's what it's supposed to do right like, yeah release it little by little yeah definitely because that's right. what because what what ends up happening is uh like um with the caffeine crash what happens is basically like. The, um, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> oh the what? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm the senior. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, what, what basically happens is is the the kind of like the biology of, of coffee and and he got me started. I'm gonna get super yeah, dirty. I, so I, I so love it. I'm, I'm all ears right here. I love this. Right. Yeah. So basically, uh-huh. caffeine, like the the chemical compounds of that, it it 
it's exactly the same as and i forget the the hormone but the hormone that gets released when you're tired right okay so what it does is is the caffeine blocks those receptors so you don't you never feel tired because you don't receive that tired hormone mm -hmm. but what happens when you get the crash with coffee is that after that is is absorbed and and you know expelled out of your body um the all the hormones are still there so you get a rush of that tired feeling mm. so that's that's what ends up happening but i mean the, bulletproof is meant the, to do yeah, that like right? slowly the, yeah the new, yeah like, really but slowly. i mean i'm i'm go hard to go home kind of guy right. bro. so i'm, <laughs> I'm gonna take mm. it and yeah right. <laughs> you know take the the side effects after uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and for everyone that's um watching or hearing us uh make sure you guys follow him on social media because a veces son eventos like community events um what's your social media it's uh el chilito cafe so at el chilito cafe cafe okay yeah, cool. on instagram and on twitter um i think on facebook is el chilito cafe um on MySpace? <laughs> 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 well, when they come back we'll bring it well, well um well what is it Pre premiere the Napo Nopala Sul kind of drink uh, on the so MySpace actually, one. Actually, <laughs> I was thinking you should make, because you know how you, and I, I agree with you, the flavor of the Bulletproof is not that great. Yeah. You should make a healthy one with a yeah. good flavor. A well, healthy version? With something. Yeah. yeah. No, well, a healthy version. Yeah. But uh, that better flavor, like not the Bulletproof. Uh, it kind of, kind of yeah, good yeah, too. Yeah. How about we do it and take all the credit? Yeah, right? <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here in the lab. We'll, we'll put yeah. your hats on the, yeah. Yeah, on the, on the thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, so there is kind of like like the healthy alternative would be just like black coffee. Just so black coffee. yeah, but like like taking it slowly, not downing it. Um, but you have to make your own. Yeah. One that's your well, own. I'm going to just put, I don't know, I'll put a weird name to it. Yeah. Like yeah. Name to it. Yeah. <laughs> But um, but yeah, that that that'd be kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just no no butter, maybe mm -hmm. some mantequilla. Oh, <laughs> throw some MCT oil on it. That's it. No butter, bro. right? Yeah. <laughs> so um, Daniel, thank you for your time, man. Yeah, I really no appreciate it, especially yeah. the space. Um, we're gonna have to end the the interview. Se acabó el café. But um, <laughs> yeah, make sure you guys um follow him on social media, and um, mm -hmm. stop by and visit. Because, yeah. I mean, we could tell you how good it is, but it's not like you come in and taste it for yourself. Mm -hmm. So, um, what's the address again, Daniel? It's, so, it's 8015 Long Beach Boulevard, um, Southgate, California, um, 90280. Well, also, uh, not just the, the it's good coffee, but also, like you said, uh, the community. Yeah, the environment. The warm, warmness here, yeah. chill. And today you, on a rainy day. And perfect. if you owe your neighbor or your friend money, don't come because you'll <laughs> catch them here, man. <laughs> <laughs> like my friend Chuy over there is right. Chuy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone kind of bumps into each other. I've seen like I think like two breakups here, man. Oh. Like, yeah, like someone caught someone slipping here. Oh. Like, yeah, someone's oh. gonna come in here. Those exponiendo infieles people. Exponiendo. Yeah, see, yeah you, you're gonna <laughs> see some it. drama sometimes. Oh, uh, sometimes yeah. you see, I'm waiting for a proposal in here, so be <laughs> 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 romantic, a little yeah. heart shape, conchas and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, maybe, yeah. hey, maybe Valentine's coming yeah. up. Yeah. So well, we actually are gonna have uh, heart shaped conchas uh, really? from oh, really? starting yeah. February 7th to uh, uh, February 14th. We'll have heart shaped conchas. Okay, okay. so yeah. make sure you guys come in okay, and, and check come. those out. Uh -huh. yeah. Nice. Just don't get caught slipping here. Like yeah. That, yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine I get caught up in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, viene conmigo, viene con Daniel. <laughs> you get me in trouble, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, Daniel, thank you. Next thing you know, the shop's going to be closed. That's I it. know. <laughs> then put your ad, your Instagram out on the front, like in a big old like, poster, like this guy. Take this guy right yeah, here. Right? <laughs> so, Daniel, thank you for your time, man. I yeah, appreciate no it. And, um, Remember for Valentine's, va a ver este heart shaped conchas. Any, any uh, special drinks? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe. Sí, te de calzón. <laughs> 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 some some drama in the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, not 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 yet. But knowing me, I'm super spontaneous. So like last oh, minute, I probably. And I see you have a little stage right there. So yeah, you do yeah. little yeah. events or stuff. Yeah, so we have um like poetry slams. Uh. We had a like a rap concert one here one oh, time. Really? That was that was that was fun. <laughs> um, we what have, like <laughs> 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 we're just, just like we're we're planning it. Well, um, along with the farmers that 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 I'm in connections with, we're mm -hmm. gonna have like a panel. So we're gonna have them up there, and um, we'll be like answering questions and things cool. of that sort. So we're gonna gonna have that cool stuff but the stage is definitely cool we've yeah. seen some crazy stuff man really? <laughs> seen like people backflip on stage oh, my my favorite was um because i'm a i'm a huge huge juan gabriel fan um <laughs> on the 
third year anniversary of this place, my mom got a uh, Juan Gabriel impersonator. Shut he up. was on the stage, <laughs> and I was like, I was fangirling like crazy. I was like, <laughs> you were like, yeah, yeah, I was singing. Yeah, yeah. And and I had had the coffee too. Me. yeah. I was like burning like my mouth with the coffee because I was just like so excited. I was like, oh, was, yeah. I was singing, oh, oh, here. It was crazy. <laughs> cool. So hey, you guys better uh, yeah. follow him on social media for all those good events. Yeah, because okay, you're miss out. events. Because huh? I know. Just relax. Everybody's on their laptops. Hey, we're doing dog, right? Everybody's on their laptops yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Except for my friend Chewy. He's just waiting for me to get off the <laughs> mic. <laughs> hey, he's right there. He's, <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's, he's like, loading up the taser right yeah. now. <laughs> 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 he's already thinking, what am I going to buy with the money he uh, pays me right now? <laughs> a heart shaped gun job, bro. <laughs> 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 All right. So thank you for your time. Um, this yeah. is Mentor District. I'm Molly. I'm Yadira. Rafa. And I'm Daniel. Daniel. That's Cielito it. Lindo. Thank you guys. Cielito. Yeah.